Hey guys. All right, so we are starting a brand new project today, and that project is picture the music, okay? So what this is, for those of you who don't know, don't remember, it's an art competition put on by the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra. Um, what they do is they pick out a piece of music, and we listen to it, and your job is to picture it. So you're drawing what it looks like to you. Okay, um, this project is going to work a little differently than the rest of our projects because of the, the stipulations of the contest, the way they, their guidelines, what they want us to do with it. Okay, uh, first of all, your paper is ginormous compared to what we normally use. Uh, it's a 12 by 18 piece of paper, and that's their regulations, not mine. Okay, so you have plenty of space to use it up. Um, they also don't let us use all the types of art that we normally do in here. So we are actually going to be limited to drawing, print, and paint. And um, so that means sculpture, digital, and collage are closed down for this project. But we are going to use a couple of those spaces and I'll show you the, in a minute how I want you to work that. Okay. So we're going to use a drawing table like normal with drawing and all the supplies over there except for chalk. Print still available for print. You can use the stuff like normal. Painting is still painting. You can use the easels and all of the paint trays there. Collage fiber is now turned into a drawing table and there will be supplies there for you. And sculpture is now a painting table and there will also be supplies there for you. Um, so today is going to look a little differently than normal. Okay. When I'm done with this video, we're actually going to listen to the song in a video. Okay. I'm actually going to show you two different videos. One of them um, is the song in a play kind of setting. This is a waltz from the Masquerade Suite. It was written for a play. So the first video we're going to watch, uh, it shows you kind of like a scene from the play that the music would have happened at. Okay, it's not the real play. It's just an actor reenactment of it. Okay, and there's some weird eyes staring between the boy and girl. Okay, we'll make it. And then um, the second video I'm going to show you is the same song, but it's an orchestra that's performing it. So you get to see all the different instruments that's used into it and kind of um, the feeling that the musicians get when they're playing this. Okay, so those are some things you might include into your picture of the music. Okay, um, it has to be school appropriate. It has to be on the big paper. It's drawing, print, or paint. Okay. Um, what that looks like is up to you, okay? Are you showing me musical instruments and lines and notes? Are you showing me people dancing? Are you showing me something that popped into your head when you're listening to the music, okay? Um, and I don't wanna see any white space on this paper, so we're actually gonna take four days for this project, okay? This will take us all the way till winter break. All right, so you got plenty of time to use it, and I expect you to be using it, okay? Um, so we're gonna listen to the song. I'm gonna give you a piece of scrap paper. So when we're watching and listening, you can kind of doodle on that paper some ideas as you're thinking about them while listening to the music, maybe an instrument you pick up or a picture that pops in your head of like a ballerina or something. And you can doodle all those ideas. And then once we're done listening to the song a couple times and you get your big paper, you can transfer those ideas to that paper. Okay, so stations aren't really a thing with this project, okay? You can only paint, print, or draw, um, and then my other tables are open. So we're gonna try, as long as we can handle it, having open stations, which means I'm not picking sticks, but you are required to find a spot at one of the tables and do the type of artwork that's at that table. So if you sit at collage fiber table, you are drawing there, okay? And once you get done drawing, if you color part of it and then decide you wanna paint another part of it, then you move to a place that has paint, okay? But there has to be a spot open for you, and if there's arguing and pushing and shoving and not work getting done, um, then I'll pick where you go, okay? So don't abuse your open station privileges. Let's have fun.